Hello and welcome to QQ Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss the quantum circuit for Dutch's algorithm on QKit or quantum kit. To briefly introduce, Dutch's algorithm is used to determine whether an unknown function f of x is constant or balanced. What this means is that given a function fx takes a single bit x as input, x can either be 0 or 1. We want to know if f of x is constant, that is f of 0 and f of 1 are both equal to 0 or both equal to 1, hence constant, or whether f of x is balanced, that is if f of 0 and f of 1 are complementary. Let us now see how Dutch's algorithm accomplishes this faster than a classical computer using Qubit 2, which enables a classical simulation of a quantum circuit. To determine this, we need to work with two qubits, 0 and 1. In Dutch's algorithm, the qubits are initialized to a 1 state and not a 0 state. So let's change the input states of these qubits to 0, 1 instead of 1, 0. We will now need to apply Adamar gates on both qubits. And this brings our quantum state in a superposition of all possible two qubit states 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. We can check it to be certain. And that's correct. The amplitudes of the states are all the same, but there is a phase difference between them. We now need to apply a reversible unitary operation corresponding to f of x, which we call uf. It is not straightforward to construct the circuits for uf, and we have therefore provided uf gates corresponding to some well-known quantum algorithms in the list of quantum gates here. Let's find the uf corresponding to Dutch's algorithm. We need to input the function f of x we want to use. Note that to the circuit this will just be a black box. Let's say we want to feed f of x equal to 1, which is a constant function. So we will choose option 2 here and OK. And we input both qubits to the uf gate. Remember that the unitary operation uf has this property that if you input x and y, the states you get out will be x and y xor with fx. Let's look at the quantum state now. And also open the quantum state before applying uf. And we see what uf did to the state. Looks like the phases haven't changed, hasn't changed much except for adding a global phase. Now we apply an other mark to our input qubit x and measure the qubit 1. Since the uf hasn't really changed the quantum state much, when we measure qubit 1, we would expect to see the output state of the qubit 0 to be the same as the input, the state 1 here. Let's run the simulation. And we see what we expected. So we measured the state 1 on qubit 0 for a constant f of x. In this case, f of x equal to 1. Let's now see how a balanced function changes the quantum states. We can make this circuit all over again, but I'm going to just go ahead and delete this uf here and choose a new uf from the list of quantum gates. This time let's choose f of x equal to 4, which is a balanced function with f of x equal to not of x. So f of 0 is 1 and f of 1 is 0. So 4 and OK. And let's add these two qubits at this stage to this uf. And simulate. Okay, so we started with this state in superposition, similar to the previous case, obviously. But the state after uf has now changed. Notice that this is not just a global phase difference anymore. The quantum state has different superposition of the basic states. 
Let's now see how this is going to affect our measurement. It gives us a zero state. So a balanced function f of x gave us a zero state on qubit 0 when we measured qubit 1, while a constant f of x gave us a one state here. And that's how this circuit identifies a constant or a balanced function with just one operation. Remember that a classical algorithm will have to evaluate two expressions f of 0 and f of 1 to determine whether f of x is constant or balanced. Feel free to make your own circuit for the Duchess algorithm using Qkit. The link is included in the description below. We would love to hear from you about your experience with, with Qkit. Hope you found this video useful. Have a good day!